Let's go to the concept of combination of thin lenses in contact. So here we got to consider two lenses that is A and B. This one. Consider two lenses A and B of focal length F1 and F2 which is placed in contact with each other. So you can find here. Let the object be placed at a point O. This one is the point O where the object has been placed. So the object has been placed at a point O beyond the focus of the first lens A. The first lens produces an image at I1. Since the image I1 is real, it serves as a virtual image or virtual object for the second lens B, producing the final image at I. It must however be borne in mind that the formation of image by the first lens is pre-assumed only to facilitate and determine the position of the final image. In fact, the direction of rays emerging from the first lens gets to be modified in accordance with the angle at which they strike the second lens. So this one is the first lens and this one is indicating the second lens where you can able to see it here. Since the lenses are thin, we assume we assume the optical centers of the lenses to be coincident. Let this central point be denoted by the term P, this one. For the image formed by the first lens A, we get 1 divided by V1 minus 1 by U is equal to 1 divided by F1, which has been marked as equation number 12. For the image formed by the second lens B, we get 1 by V minus 1 by V1 is equal to 1 divided by F2, indicated as equation number 13. So adding these two equations 12 and 13 we will be getting 1 minus V minus 1 divided by U that is equals to 1 divided by F1 plus 1 divided by F2. Mark this task equation number 14. If the two lenses that is this one and this one. If the two lens systems is regarded as equivalent to the single lens of focal length F we have 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. So that we get 1 by F is equal to 1 divided by F1 plus 1 divided by F2. Marked as equation number 16. So derivation is valid for any number of thin lenses in contact. If several thin lenses of focal length F1, F2 and F3 goes on or in contact, then the effective focal length of the combination is given by 1 by F that is equals to 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2 plus 1 by F3 and it goes on. This can be marked as equation number 17. So in terms of power this can be written as P is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3 and it goes on. Over here this P is indicated as the net power of the lens combination. We got to note down that the sum up of this equation number 18 is considered to be an algebraic sum of individual powers. So, some of the terms on the right side may be positive, that is in terms of a convex lens. And some of the things will be in terms of negative which is indicating and having its impact of concave lenses. So the combination of lenses helps to obtain the diverging or converging lenses of desired magnification which is also enhancing the sharpness of the image. Since the image formed by the first lens becomes the object for the second as equation number 12 implies, so the total magnification which is indicated as M. So the total magnification of the combination is a product of magnification that is M1, M2, M3 and it goes on for the individual lenses. So this one is implying this equation and it goes on. So you can see the 3D view of the GTEC system which has been depicting the combination of thin lenses which is in contact. Such a system of combination of lenses is commonly used 
in designing lenses for cameras, microscopes, telescopes and other optical instruments.